So the Lumix uh, 25mm f1.7 micro four thirds lens. I got this thing when I got my uh, Panasonic Lumix GH4 camera. I intended to do filming, to do some filming with it. I have another YouTube channel, you can check it out right here. It's mostly car related and it's my first attempt. Not a very successful one at that, but uh, anyway, have a look and let's get on to our <laughs> presentation at hand. An excellent prime lens on a budget. Uh, it's great at getting that field uh, separation, that bokeh effect. Uh, you get really awesome portrait shots with this one. But uh, before we get on any further with its performance, let's uh, switch uh, to the tabletop view and talk about the build quality. So this thing is a prime lens, but I got it as a kit lens. Uh, with my GH4R Panasonic Lumix camera. Uh, it came with this, uh, the 25 millimeter uh, f1.7 lens came with this um, Lumix branded uh, camera protection lid and this sun visor uh, thing right here. So uh, pretty well uh, equipped for its uh, price point and also this back uh, lid. Uh, now this lens uh, offers great uh, low light performance for the micro four thirds uh, realm. Well, compared to other uh, kit lens and zoom lens anyway, at one f1.7, it allows for great, uh, great um, a field of separation and great bokeh effect and uh, really, um, more than adequate uh, low light performance. Its outer construction is plastic, though this uh, bayonet, this mounting micro four thirds mounting system is made out of metal. It's a well built uh, camera lens, though it does not impress with its, uh, with its build quality, nor should it actually, because you can get this one uh, fairly cheap cheaply a good second hand one almost pristine should be around 120 euros or 150 dollars maximum you can even get new ones at that that price point there's not much else to talk about this lens in terms of build quality so let's uh, take some sample pics compare it with my other uh, budget lens and see if we can draw up some conclusions Okay, so keeping with the theme of uh, honest no frills comparison, I shall mount this uh, 25 millimeter f1.7 Lumix lens to the Panasonic Lumix G1 that I got uh, and presented in the previous episodes. This is not much of a camera in terms of specs, but it'll do the job and I will be able to compare pics with this um, 12 to 32 lens from Panasonic also. So let me just turn this thing on. Uh, now this being a prime lens, we cannot use the zoom. The only ring here is meant for adjusting the focus, the manual focus. So let's just do that. Switch to manual focus mode in the Lumix G1 and try to turn the wheel. As you can see the thing works but it's actually not a fully manual zoom. It's uh, capacitor driven. It drives some uh, motors on the lens itself. So it's, it has this uh, continuous adjustment. When you move it uh, faster, it turns the zoom quite a lot. So that might be counterintuitive for some and it will not feel that good. But as you can see, the results are very, very accurate in the end. You just need to f fumble around with the, with the, with the, the adjuster for a bit. So let me just take a quick pick. 
and I'll compare it with my 12 to 32 photo. So yeah, the, uh, the result is more impressive than the 12 to 32 uh, pick that I got here. Uh, subject separation is better handled, colors are more accurate, field of depth of field is better all around. You could see why you would choose the 25 millimeter f1.7 uh, compared to the 12 to 32 that I have here. So the uh, 25 millimeter f1.7 Panasonic Lumix lens. It's a great performer and uh, it's a great all-round performer in terms of photography. It doesn't offer fast autofocus but then again no Panasonic Lumix camera does, at least not in my experience. It's a great uh, budget buy at the bottom base, uh, the bottom end of the market. Uh, you could spend as, as little as 100 euros for a good uh, second-hand example of these lens. Build construction should not worry or interest you at all if you are an amateur photographer. You can get fairly uh, good results with this one. Would I recommend it? Well, yes. And to my mind, I would recommend starting with this prime lens, the 25 millimeter and the 12 to 32 as a budget wide angle lens. And in the next clip, I will get to present uh, my 12 to 60 millimeter lens from Lumix, which I believe is the best option for um, an amateur filmographer. But uh, we'll get to that in due time. But that's been it for me in this episode. And as always, remember, I buy, own and collect useless, obsolete tech stuff. But not like these ones, because these are very useful. So you don't have to. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.